Bob Beer. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to me like there is less of that stinking draft right here. And if one day he disappears... Hey, you! I thought I said something. Come on, John, let's go. I say, I thought I said something. Don't you get it? I'm Smithy. Chuck Smithy. Beat it. The draft makes me nervous. Well, take a seat. I'd rather sit alone. I feel you're looking for trouble. That's all you feel. I'm all for it. If you want to know the time, I'll be outside.
Hey, Sherman, start playing. Who's paying you for this job, Chuck? chance. Shot him in the back. Am I right, fellas? Yes, yes Mr. Rogers. Good. Tidy case. Gentlemen, drinks for all. Yes, sir. What's going Not the usual thing. Give me that poster. 500 bucks for the one who gets jumped, Brad alive or dead. I have the wanted poster ready. <laughs> hmm. You know, you're an artist. Jeremy is a real artist. <laughs> Send it to Mr. Tarleton to print it out. One moment, Mr. Waltrow. Yeah. I happen to be here. I saw that fellow lashing out at Johnny without any apparent reason. Colonel Anderson, I'm really surprised. Do you question the evidence given by these honorable citizens? I only said that it was not Johnny who was looking for trouble. Well, I have to warn you that everything you may say henceforth may be used against you. Did you actually see Johnny firing on a shot, fair and square? No, I did not. I never left this room. Anderson, not only do we suffer you in this uniform, which hurts the pro-union feelings of the citizens of Cedar City out of sheer respect for your person. <laughs> but I don't think it is very thoughtful of you to champion a lost cause. <laughs> lost in advance. Marshal, since 1861 has been my lot to fight for causes lost well in advance. Bob. Yes, sir. Kindly order one beer for me, please. Ladies, we're in the Mormon territory. Oh. You don't mean to say, Mr. Hopman, it's that horrible bunch of... Exactly, Miss Vickenden, where men have several wives. Oh, how disgusting. I shall petition my senator, the right honorable Mr. Kelly. I didn't give him my vote to have all this filth tolerated in this country. Then Joseph Smith established a Mormon community in Ohio. Later, he went over to Missouri. It was there that the prophet established and enforced polygamy upon his followers. Oh, very disgusting polygamy. The 200 citizens that hanged Joseph Smith in June 1844 think the same way you do. Sirs, him right. It is for the first time, Mr. Hartman, that I approve of Mr. Lynch's law. And then came forth the great... To precepe ore ce din ce ce tește acolo. Ore ce. And of the Church Cal. of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Oh, see? 
Kasă. Nu se nas. Bine, foarte bine, dai mai departe. Pe loc și de mai mult. Tabeletele oare le-ai prăvădit? Păi la mine. Și ai de grijă cu statia aceea care nu știu cum dracu îi zice. Că acolo ne așteaptă eu. La scrisoarea lui e la tine. E la mine. Păi e bine, citește, citește. Muzicam a piece of my mind. You may entail the risk of becoming the 16th, Mrs. Waltrop. <laughs> Miss Hopman, I don't appreciate much your attempt to be funny. <laughs> It's revolting that Indians are allowed to travel on the same train with... They don't seem to be Indians, rather Mexicans. Los Senores here in the Mexico? Bă, eu cred că domnul vrea oare ce cu tine. Răspunde. Mexico? Ui are emigranți. Oh, how exciting. <laughs> Where from, may I ask? What country? Um, what country? România. Da, drăguță, România. Satul Poplaca. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. A cigar? Bă, nu te-am trecut peste ape să înveți să duhănești. Mulțam frumos. Thank you. Where are you, uh, gentlemen, going? Uh -huh. Uh. Ce zicea, mă? Nu știu. Adu ce mai citești în Biblia aia? Multe-am băut eu la zilele mele, dar zamă de ploșniță nu. Good, zel, good. Dar cam slăbuță. Ia probează dumneata din asta și apoi mi-i spun. Hă? Turț! Țuică prefriptă! Exquisite. The real thing. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, the flute. That's an instrument I read something about in my forgotten days as a student. Think of it. With those savages. And he seemed such a gentleman. Mă, Romi. Ia zi tu ceva cu fluiera, că la americanește văzi că ești o nulă. Ba, ce nu se cuvine. Când ți-o păli eu două, să vezi tu ce se cuvine și ce nu. Come to wait for Jeff Grogger. <laughs> Thanks, Pa. Now let's see. I bet on Jeff. Now. Something to think of it. 
You guys, waiting for Jeff Grogan? Maybe we are, maybe we ain't. I'm waiting for my fiancée. She went to the spa to Saratoga. <laughs> <laughs> Look here, Stan. I'm not picking up a quarrel, but Jeff Grogan ain't gonna get down at Cedar City. Will you stop him? We will. If you are interested, for nobody. It's enough to have on our neck. Shut up. Who, handsome? What worries you about Jeff Grogan? Nothing. I just thought that uh, maybe... Right. She's beat it and fast. Then listen, go back home, scram, and fast! I tell you, Jeff Gogan ain't gonna get down at Cedar City. Jeff Gogan? Jefferson, fetch that old Grogan, if you please. Would you kindly get off my way and let me pass? You ain't gonna pass, Grogan. You have no business in Cedar City. <laughs> and yet, if I were willing to come down, sir... I won't get down on whatever you call it because of some drunken ruffians. Je dame Lens, je suis très pour les lords. Ne la vain pas le nôtre. I beg your Acolo Gata trai sa ce e. Ba ce? Ai spus 100 de ori sa nu ne pagam? Am spus, am spus. Gata trai sa-mi coce. Trebuie sa-i tunul la casa. Magar... Pune alici. Tu sa taci mucio. Daca doamnele caz, cine-i de vina, mucio-i de vina, nu?
Thank you, my friend. I haven't heard such noise since Bull Run. De la Plevna. De la Turch. Captura de Resboy. Come on, Blanky. Stand up. <laughs> Boys, we need such Plevna guns ourselves. Yo, yo! I understand the man who should have been expecting you isn't here. Or is he? Ce zice, mă? Nu știu, că ăsta nu vorbește ca dicționar. Dicționar, dicționar. Bani țipați în vânt, ești un prost. Zici tu ceva, poate te pricepe el. Ei, mă spăl cam acum. Băi, Ioan, e băș! We must hear... Brother. Oh, your brother? Da, da. Well, he isn't here. You go with me. Understand? Your friend. A friend, uh, prieten. Ah, prieten, friend. Jack, yeah, get some horses or two artillery men. All right. Can you ride? Show my zizma. Assuming that on the 3rd of July, 1863, at dawn, Longstreet had not assuming, been so assuming, persuaded, Lee's left flank was so strong. Assuming further that he had not... all heard... due respect, I must remind you of something you seem to have forgotten. The Confederation actually lost the war. And I'm still wondering how it could have possibly come about with the kind of generals you have, McClellan, Meredith. Ulysses Simpson Grant, unconditional surrender, Grant. I know him. We went to West Point together. A notorious drunk. You know what President Lincoln said when Grant was accused of, uh, well, drinking too much. Let me know which blend Grant drinks to have it sent to the other generals. <laughs> but I reckon Mrs. Doolittle got bored. May I offer a round? Bob. Yes, sir. A small one for Mr. Doolittle. Very small, Jeremy. Yes, Mrs. Doolittle. Dr. Wilson advised Mr. Doolittle to have a small shot of whiskey a day. One. Only one, very little. It is against the holy taste of our prophet. But medical advice. Your water, Mr. Doolittle, being brought over from the Holy Spring today. Water. Water. Nothing is like a taste of fresh spring water. Madam? No, sir! I, who had the honor to serve the noble cause of freedom of our colored brethren, I will not and shall never. Mr. Doolittle, you look excited. For once, Jeremy, just half of a little shot for Mr. Doolittle. And my water, Jeremy. Of course, Mr. Doolittle. Jim, Jim. Yeah. Come on.
Grogan. Colonel Anderson. Lieutenant Jefferson Grogan. My, my. Sir, so it's true what they say. You're still wearing our undaunted gray. For me, Lieutenant, the capitulation at the Pomatox never took place. It is distressing to see how you have put up with that most unfortunate incident. Mm -hmm. But it's been almost 15 years. It may well be a hundred before I will. <laughs> Never mind. What brings you to Cedar City, this nest of Yankees and Mormons? <laughs> Just passing through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sir, if my memory isn't failing me, you used to be unsurpassed with a gun. Maybe, next to General J.E.B. Stewart. And the cards, too. Well, here, J.E.B. Stewart. 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 Și nu te mai hobală ce o vărgați și că nu te las tot. Mâncă numai bani. Dar eu nu fiu aici, mă. Uite... Would you uh, tempt your luck, my friend? Ce-a zis? A, zice să jucăm cărți. Păi zic că nu avem parale, că altfel... Uh, not money. Oh, that little thing. It's a loan, naturally. Mulțumim, fai. You ever play fai. poker? Da, da. A, păi dragă, domnule, dacă crezi că m-a prins pe mine la popa prostu, e și la mari. de la mine că e un joc frumos. Și când te gândești că nici nu știam că știu să joc, bă. Excuse me. Want a glass of water? Can I, uh... No, Lieutenant, thank you. Bob. Yes, sir. I decided to stake on you. Will you accept Bob, sir? He is of excellent extraction. For his grandfather, may his soul rest in peace. My grandfather paid three thousand dollars in Louisiana in 1824. I think you better give up. Huh? That was such a nice one. How about no? No chance to say no for best in dictionary. Afla, draga domnule de la mine, că când ai o șeptică, merg cu ea până la capătul pământului. Three cards, please. Hi, baby. Yes, it's a royal flash. Sir, you may trust Bob entirely. He is a good cook, and if my uniform still looks decent, I owe him that. Jesuche. Mi se pare că l-ai câștigat pe dumnealui. 
Doamne, apără și păzește. Dar voi cum să câștigi un om la cărți, că nu-i berbec? Nici ce vorbă, nici ce vorbă! Bob, my boy, I'm afraid you'll soon forget your good manners with your new master. Oh, wouldn't I have staked on my beloved Deborah? No. Ah, păi dacă așa e obiceiul pe aici... E băutură la toată lumea. O lincă. Drink. Cum te cheamă? Name. Name, name. Bob. Bob, Robert Bob. A, păi Bob, fătul meu, ia-ți un pahar de aici. Ia. Să bem și să ne cunoaștem. Mie îmi zice Traian Brad. Brad, mă. Tot de aia, mă, de ploșnă. How many wives do you have? One, my friend. Only one. And she's the prophet's sister. What did you say, darling? Nothing, darling. <laughs> It's very stuffy here. A small one for Mr. Doolittle. Jeremy? Yes, Mrs. Doolittle. <laughs> Jeremy, water. Behold the wretches, since mine oath you've despised and my covenant broken. Even it will I recompense upon your own heads. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. Forget ye not that the fathers have eaten sour grapes and the children's teeth are set on edge. I gave ye my law, and ye transgressed it. Be off my sight, unclean creatures! For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Have ye no homes, ye shameless ones, there to break bread and to drink water? Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. You cannot partake of the Lord's table and of the table of devils. I pray and I toil for you in the name of our true Lord. And ye, ye, Marshal, do your duty. Yes, Father. Mr. Waltrop. My bottle. Son, leave the judge's bottle alone. Yes, father. Da, mare credină al Dumnezeu. Cine e ăsta? Ce zice? Not clearer in your souls now. I ask you. My son. Yes, father. There are unknown faces that I behold. What's your business in Cedar City? Apoi, dragă domnul legendariu. Noi, adică eu și feciorul ăsta, care mi-e frate mai mic, am venit aici din Poplaca. Am trecut apa cea mare, oțeanul, bată al Dumnezeu să-l bată, că nu o să-l uit câte zile o avea, că tot ce mâncam țâpam afară. Am venit aici în America la fratele nostru, Ion, să câștigăm ceva parale, că la noi e sărăcie mare. 
Avem și scrisoare de la el. Scoate-mă scrisoarea, nu s-a capă pândău. Și apoi cred că-l cunoaște. Cum să nu-l cunoașteți? Toată lumea-l cunoaște. Ni. Ista Ion. Uh, our brother. Our brother. On the authority bestowed... All right. You're under arrest. Uh, stai așa că am priceput. Și că ne arestează. No, sir. It has been earned in an honest game. Honest? At cards, Mr. Anderson? A Cum se spune în limba lor? Ia mai mereți voi în... Nu știu, bace, că nu scrie în dicționară. Romii am dădut de greu. Și asta numai de aia că eu, ca prostul, m-am băgat între ei acolo la gară. E, păi acum... Lui fi alici pe careva mai tare. Bă, și te-am spus să nu te bași, bă! Ți-am spus, bă, și pe drum și acasă, străinii au socotelele lor, mă! Duc ca prostul cu dicționarul! Ce dicționar? Acum, dacă se află la poplaca, cum mai dau eu ochii cu părintele Iosif? Că și fratul ăla deșteptul! Că când noi punem mâna pe el, dacă nu-i rup toate oasele, să nu-ți pe mie, pe nume! Dai două palme, dai două palme, două palme... Și tu ce bombă are acolo? Ei, bombă! Mai bine stăm acasă! Da, mai bine stăm acasă. Păi Ești da. deștept nevoie mare. Da. Mai bine scoate fluiera aia și zice ceva. Poate ne mai alină. E, acum, n-am tragere, bace. Vezi să n-am eu tragere, să scârpesc vreo două. E, sigur. Cârpești două. Hai, mă romi, când. That cowardly murderer, in order to assemble a lawless gang, to disturb by robbery and murder the peace of this community illuminated, and it's by the sacred fire of faith. Mr. Ezekiel Waltrope, the shepherd who has formed... Your Honor, I would think it appropriate to cross-examine the defendants. By all means, Mr. Walter, of the accused will rise. Confess, you misguided ones, Ce mai vrea remember lama? that Don't Mary you. shall be purified and made white and tried. That you have come to set a city with guilty intent. Objection, Your Honor. You should not influence the defendants, nor even the honorable members of the jury. All of them present in this court of justice. Objection denied. Guilty of having consorted and conspired together with your brother. Om bătăni săracul Ion de când o pleca din poplacă. Dar păi nici lui de mirare cu nebunii ăștia. Silence in the box. A criminal gang. Objection denied, Mr. Anderson. A glass of water, Jeremy, to disturb the peace of peaceful, law-abiding citizens. We, are they? Robin, Transylvania, Poplarka. We, me and brother. I see. I see. Big brother. And so his disciples came upon us as his brother, and the way they hear work. For money! That's it. Money. Not money! Ai! Umbat meserie! Întoarcem! With brother! Acasă! Home! Să trăim ca oamenii! Like human beings! Ce aveți, mă, cu noi? Că v-am luat banii la cărți? Luați-i pe toți și duceți-vă dracu cu ei cu tot. Gentlemen of the jury, your honor, ladies and gentlemen, the cross-examination conducted here by our distinguished magistrate, which was, I respectfully submit, more in the way of an accusation, was indeed unsurpassed in eloquence, but sorely lacking in evidence. The defense will not challenge the fact that the defendants Defendants and not culprits, your honor. Are the brothers of John Brand, now wanted and pursued on the grounds of a certain testimony you which... You damned rebel! 
And now I ask you, have they come here with a proven malicious intent to form a gang of outlaws? This is most doubtful. And any defendant will always have his right and benefit of doubt. Your Honor, doubt! Quod non est demonstrandum, quod demonstratum est. A glass of water, Jeremy. Guilty or not guilty, it is the pleasure of this court for you to plead guilty. The jury have given their verdict. Brad Brothers, you have been tried by six worthy mm. and good men, not the like of you, for they stand above you as heaven stands above hell. <gasps> Time will flow by, and seasons will come and go. Spring with his soft green grass and an abundance of perfumed flowers on every hill. Summer with its scorching sun over the burning expenses of the prairies. But you, broad brothers, will never see all that. Again, for it is the decision of this court for you to be marched from this room and through a tall tree and to hang by the neck until... May I, Your Honor? Of course, Mr. Waltrop. <laughs> Please, Mr. Waltrop. I shall not want the sinner's extinction, but rather his redemption. Why, Your Honor, and gentlemen of the jury, I humbly crave your indulgence to trust me with these strangers. Notwithstanding the rightful suspicion of their malicious intent, I shall keep them about my homestead, and I shall pray for them, and I shall teach them how to pray. It is so decided. Yes, Pa. Bob? Yes, sir. Attend to your new job. Yes, sir. The belongings of these two will stay with me until they are cleared. Move, Oi, frate, da onde você vai voar? Come on, move! Move! Assembly. Wondering about in the moonlight? Get out of my way, or else... Or else what, Mr. Ambler? Now, Father Meadow! <laughs> what temper <laughs> she's got! <laughs> Miss Altrup's going to get some trouble. <laughs> What's the trouble, me? Okay, 
Bolt. Slow, slow, you too. Yeah. Good boys, good boys. Move, move. And now get out of here. Johnny, take care of her. You were right. We were dumb not to listen to you. Don't take care of Waltrope. Mr. Waltrope. Mm-hmm. It is almost five. Mm-hmm. With whom is it your pleasure to share the bed tonight, Mr. Waltrope? Yeah. With Mrs. Sarah Waltrip, Mrs. Rebecca Waltrip. I shall let her know, Mr. Waltrope. Mrs. Waltrip. Mm -hmm. I'm satisfied with your labors. I exempt you from work today. Until 10 o'clock. Thank you, Mr. Waltrope. Mm. You place it in the kitchen. <laughs> Nigga! I place it behind my master, ma'am. Bon boulet. Chaise de cabinet. Silence. An angel came out from the altar that is in heaven and cried with a loud cry to him that had the sharp sickle, saying, Thrust in thy sharp sickle, and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth, for her grapes are fully ripe. As you toil today, you will think of the meaning of this. Will you? Yes, yes. Mr. Waldrop. Ye yon strangers, maybe criminals, maybe apostles, will break the ground in the clearing at Bluecut to gain your bread and your absolution in the sweat of your brow. Mrs. Wartrop, you will see to it that the worm of laziness should not nest in their bodies and that the prodigal sons should deserve their porridge. Yes, Mr. Wartrop. Now, worthless beings as we are, let us taste the food needed by our frail bodies. Mrs. Waltrop, today you are going to have rest. Washed. Ma, this will be Papa Turk. June, I gotta go. No, Mr. Brad, please don't leave me. Where shall I go alone? Go back to Cedar City, June. No, they find me again. Mr. Walter wants me to marry his son, Jesuar. Big's already got two wives. Please don't leave me. June, for God's sake, what shall I do with you? You know I'm wanted. But where shall I go? I have to hide. 
Please. Pick up your things from the wagon. Yeah, thank you. Until tonight, from here to there. Mă rog, mi, după cum văd eu, la grea robie ne-am băgat. You, master, ah. you stay, rest. Me, Bob, work for master. Ce vrea ăsta, mă? Dar mai știe dracu ce zice, ce mă tot întreb? Vorbește și el acolo, polimba lui. Keep walking. Toată ziua mă întreb, ce zice, ce zice? Mă, mă, stai, walk! Auzi, fătul meu, eu pe bivolița asta, până la urmă, tot o pocnesc. Where is your Nabla? Uh, Where are your guns? Let, oh, me well, explain. let us explain. You, 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 you stole the rope. 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 It all went like a whistle. I see. Yeah, I see. We are waiting for them. Uh, waiting for them. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, the trout. <laughs> you know, on the trout river, all number wouldn't be reasonable. He grabbed for the shotgun. No. May his soul rest in peace. Yeah. And then. Out of the blue came Johnny Brad. It happened so suddenly, so Mr. suddenly, Walter. Mr. Wattop. Will Clanton, the terror of Abilene. Buck Kearney, the fastest gun in Tombstone. And now, where is June? Mr. Wardrop! Mr. Wardrop! Mr. Wardrop! Come on, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. They took away my rifle. And they pulled down my trousers. They gave me the bird. Oh, oh. How could I loathe the imprecation? And how did my heart despise harsh judgment? How could I fail to listen to my teachers and to heed naught whatever they taught me? Romy! Bun, el ăsta, că dacă se atinge de mine, l-a văzut Dumnezeu. Să știu de bine că stau aici o sută de ani. Lock them up. And if they try to run away... Mr. Waltrop is waiting for you. <clears throat> Mr. Waltrop. If my recollection of your kind letter is correct, it said we were to meet only secretly. Get into the house, Grogan. What? Please, Mr. Grogan, do me the honor of crossing the threshold of my humble hall.
All right, Mr. Waltrop. That extra job on Johnny Brad is gonna ease you fifteen hundred dollars, plus the five hundred reward money. That's exactly my price. That's far off, Mr. Grogan. For a peasant who got his hand on a colt only a few years ago, Mr. Waltrop. Generally, people don't argue over my price. Till, since this is the first opportunity when we are mutually delighted to work together, I may have to tell you that from what I gather, Johnny Brad is fast. Chuck Smitty got it on, or rather, in his own hide. But it was established he'd been shot in the back. And who did establish that, Mr. Waltrop? The marshal, your son. As a kill, Waltro, you are a bloody swine. I have been carrying that in me for a long time. And you, Jefferson Fitzgerald Grogan, you hardly deserved to have worn the glorious gray. Jefferson Grogan, you are a coward and a scoundrel. Mr. Grogan, is your price the same in all cases? I'm afraid it is, Mr. Waltrop. Gurner, I think I shall be waiting for you outside. Are you going to shoot at your Colonel Jeff? Topping by three bucks, sir, and I'm willing to send Mr. Waltrop at Patras. Grogan. Yes, sir. Scoundrel. You shouldn't have done that, sir. It was entirely useless. After you, sir. May I venture to observe, sir, that the regular holster, as worn in the Confederate Army, is not wholly appropriate for a conversation of this kind. Droll, scoundrel. Mr. Waltrop, may I make a suggestion? What are you going to do with them? If I were you, I'd turn them loose. Oh, I see. You think they may lead you to Joshua? Let those hobos go. Okay, you can leave. Agora, agora onde é que a gente vai? Não logo precisa de país marobi. O homem não presta o homem. Este homem rouba e se o nenê não rouba, o que é que vamos ver? What did it say? Nothing.
Moj bobule je kusalu to jest ta maj moja bobeći. Atenție, am găsit. Bravo, copile. Ai început să adun petricele. Te pămânești ca mâine pe mine de jos și cu... Doamne ferește. Nu, nu, nu. Ce zgol? Zice că-i aur. Aur, nu e la el. Fugi, mă, că te râzi și curcile. Pepitas, master, pepitas. Auzi, deșteptule, pepitas. Jucărele, păpușele. Ha, acasă. Eu am pușcat o căprioară. Ioane, în sfârșit ai venit și tu, bă. Băi, să fii, a spus și steagul. Da, păi cum? Hai înăuntru. Mă, Romi, scolă, mă. Uite cine a venit. Ce faci, bă, prăzle, mă? Hau, du, du. E, păi văd că ai încropit o gospodărie în toată legea. Păi nu, că era să te aștepe bine. Să-ți dau oare ce, ți-o fi foame. Mă, boi, cofi. Cofă, cofă. Care cum plecați din poplacă, vă și credeți groufi. Dau țâr de palincă, n-ai? Că am probat eu niște poame de pe aici, dar nu mere că n-avem cazan. Auzi, pe ăsta cum l-ați găsit? Bob? L-am câștigat la cărți. Mă, Ioane, ce au ăștia de pe aici cu tine? Ce ai făcut? E o poveste mai lungă. Păi eu s-o cot că vreme avem. Nici nu știu de unde să încep. Când am venit în America, am mus șepte ani, am făcut de toate. Am fost și salahor, și hamal, și vânător, și vânzător în prăvălie, și cowboy. Am dus-o greu trăine. Și am mus trei ani, eram în Texas, atunci ce am auzit că aici, în statul Utah, s-ar fi găsit aur. Și am venit mai mult să încoace. Și într-adevăr, am și găsit câteva filoane, ne-am împărțit locurile între noi, ne-am apucat de lucru și treaba a început să meargă binișor. Într-un an, doi am fi ajuns și noi în rândul oamenilor. Dacă n-ar fi pus lava pe noi unul altru. Îl cunosc. El pe mine încă nu. Nu, păi să știi că totul e în mâna lui aici, în Cedar City. Ficiorul lui e Marshall. Marshall de trei pițule. Șeful poliției locale, bă. Or pus monopol pe tot ce scoteam noi. Ori început să adune cu dea sila aurul, spunându-ne că o să-l valorifice ei. Care nu se supune, era curățat. Bă, dar aici legi nu-s? Dar vezi sunt, cum să nu fie, că la noi, că am tot locul, pe hârtie. Dar singura lege adevărată, trăiene, pistolul. Minerii s-au speriat și s-au supus. Pe mine, care n-am vrut să mă supun, m-au luat la ochi. Și-au tocmit un ucigaș care să mă cureți. Și te pomenești că l-ai curățat tu pe el. Iar ăștia umbe să te aducă din post în post. Și eu ca prost. Când ți-am văzut poza pe toate gardurile, am crezut că ai ajuns oarece domn mare. Din pricina ta am fost și la ocână. Și asta, ți-e nevastă? John? Cam tânără, bă, pentru tine. 
O altro vreau să ia de nevastă. Cum să o ia? Că mai are un zahon de femeie, nu mă vredic să fie de ea. Are 15 muieri. Cum 15? Păi 15, 15. Păi așa e religia lor, că le dă dreptul să ție mai multe muieri. Știi că el e un fel de pop aici la ei. E, pop. Pop pe fără patafir, ia pe fără codă. Dar ce el, mă, turc? Că am fost și la turci, în șepte șepte, cu războiul. Care război? Cum care război? Dar după ce lume trăiești? În lumea nouă. E, apoi, dragă frate, acum chiar că ar trebui să mă supăr. Dar tu nu citești foile? Dar pe cum să nu știi că țara noastră, România, acum trei ani, în șepte, șepte, s-au bătut cu turcul la Grivița, la Plevna, ha? Bobule, dăm un foier. No. Și atunci ce ne-am zis noi cei din Ardeal? Că trebuie să mergem și noi. Și ne-am dus. Am trecut munții cu mare fereală că stăpânirea austriacului nu ne dădea voie. De parcă cineva mă poate ține pe mine când vreau eu oarece. Am trecut și m-am scris voluntar. Că tu știi eu câtă câtă ni am făcut la caun ca ai în zexe regiment. Că cum era să șed eu blând când țara noastră România lupta pentru libertate. Am fost și rănit. Uită virtutea militară. Am căpătat-o la plevna. Dar după ce m-am întors acasă la Poplaca, stăpânirea m-a luat la ochi și m-a purtat cu tot felul de întrebări. Sărăcia, cum o știi și tu, așa că cum am primit carte de la tine acum un an, am și pornit în coci. Nii la ăsta micu, că mai mult pentru el am plecat. Să învețe și el oare ce miserie. Că am auzit că aici, în America... Bă, frate, tu Ion! Mamă, mamă, ia, bă, ce ai, ce bar, bă. Băi, Romi, bă, ce mare ai crescut. I'm very happy to meet you. Și, Bob, mult fericit. Ați văzut că au pus pres pe capul meu 500 de dolari. Viu ori mort. E. Lasă că vedem noi la urmă. Am că ați venit și voi, o să încercăm să facem oare ce regulă pe aici. Nu, no, nici o regulă, merem acasă. Bani am. Într-o minută de ceas i-am făcut la cărți. Bă, dar tare stâmpiți oamenii pe aici cu jocurile lor. Eu le arătam cărțile, ei îmi dădeau banii. Eu le puneam cărțile pe masă, ei îmi dădeau banii. Așa că nici o regulă. În trin, pe vapor și acasă. Au străine. Ce Câteodată e mai lung drumul de aici până acasă decât de acasă până aici. Ia, ia uite-te ce am găsit. Ce ai găsit, mă, copil? Parcă ar fi aur. Bob zice că sunt pirite aurifere. Păi da, voi numai aur visați. June, my brothers. I told you, remember? My name is Romulus Brad. June Ambler. Învață-mă și pe mine. O să te învăț, o să te învăț. Hai, du-te la stigă. Bă, Ioane, ce te tot băți și te crăcăniezi acolo? Nii aici pistol. L-am capturat de la un bim pașă. Romi, ia vină în cap. Îți dau ție pușcociul ăsta. Dacă te plincă, te pălește careva, te bate, te omor, auzi tu? Bă, tu dărâng gardul, bă. 
Mr. Bradman, if Mr. Waldrop would know that Jeremy is straying from his commands, Jeremy would not be worth a damn, and there is drawing his wrath upon my head, and this calls for a little compensation. Add some more gold dust, will ya? My whiskey has been brought here like alone. stuff? Very good. Is it real good? Good. It's good. How about the Fowley command? Mr. Brad, you know or I how about of... your testimony? I shot Chuck Smith in the back. Mr. Brad, sir, let me explain. Crap. Yes, sir. Johnny, don't get us all into trouble. Call the man back here. You must know he can't do nothing. You just call those who want to come. I will. <laughs> For two years, he's been taking away your gold. He sets the prices for tools, for grab, for drinks. And what do you get instead? Phony bills. Which court in this state will ever uphold your rights? And if one day no more, Mr. Waltrop? You may be right, Johnny. But what can we do? Now he's brought over Jeff Grogan, who has already over a hundred victims. We tried hard. We sent Bill Walker to Fort Leavenworth. He never showed up. And you, Arnold? And you, Fritz? And you, Alfred, Hansen, Andrew, Vladislav, Sonny? What do you say? The only thing left now is to catch me and go get the 500 reward. We don't deserve that, man. And you know it. That's how it is, Johnny. We can't do nothing. <laughs> and I'm asking you, for all of us, don't come back here, Johnny. Don't. <laughs> Hey, Buck. Yeah. Look where the little boy was hurt. And Mr. Waltrop's heart is bleeding. Yeah. Let's catch her and take her to him in a cage. <laughs> Take care of the girl. Yeah.
thy feet with shoes, O prince's daughter. The joints of thy thighs are like jewels. Thy navel is like a round goblet which wanteth not liquor. Thy belly is like a heap of wheat set about. No, the June was to be for me. Hush! Thy two breasts. Mr. Waltrop decided otherwise. Like two young rows that are twins. How fair and how pleasant art thou, O oh love for delights. This thy stature is like to a palm tree, and thy breasts like clusters of grapes. I said, I will go up to the palm tree. And so it will be. Ezekiel Walter. Will you take June Ambler to be your wedded wife, for good and for worse, until death doth your part? Yes, I will. June Ambler, <laughs> will you take Ezekiel Waltrop to be your wedded husband and... Uh, <laughs> do be quiet, my sweet dove. I believe you are excited. I don't want Ezekiel Waltrop and June Ambler, I declare you man and wife. No. No. I'm here, June. Haven't you had enough of this hullabaloo? Shan't we too give it a try? Okay. Let's do lunch. Have you forgotten it's Saturday? Everything's ready, Mr. Waltrop. We have been expecting you. All right, let's see. And you haven't stashed away any, Mr. Fowler. Or have you, Mr. Waltrop? Come on, boys. Go take a look. We must protect our brothers from temptation. Mr. Waltrop, it's not right what they're doing. I take that sin upon myself. If thou art clean, why should your brother's doubt bother you? If Jesus Christ had doubted Judas, he wouldn't have gotten in all that trouble. Come on, boys, make it snappy. Come on, Peter. And keep that in your mind.
Mr. Fowler, gather your representatives. Mr. Waltrow, my father, might be terribly worried. We are late, you know, and your friend Johnny Brad hmm, must be somewhere around. Is that a way to move out in silence? Everyone just thoughts? Maybe some are not pious enough. Let's sing a song. Cross the wild misery. Come on, sing along. The question we have, the question is this. Isn't much, but that's all I've got, and my beloved children, the accursed Johnny Brand, to whom some of you were ready to lend their ears to listen to his poisonous slander. Well, he is still loitering like a hungry wolf. I'm only sorry we haven't come across him, Pa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My son, when you have to punish, do it not in anger, but in pain. You should suffer for the one whom you punish. I would, Pa. I would. Now, my beloved ones, all your gold so well looked after by these young men, whom I returned to the ways of the good, will leave for Salt Lake City under equal, if not better, guard. <laughs> Let every one of you weigh his gold dust and tell me. Mr. Waltop, wouldn't you want to check it out? For goodness sake, Mr. Fowler, to think that the crawling snake of distrust could ever bite into my bosom. How deeply mistaken you are. Why would I take upon myself all that toil, all that responsibility, leaving out any claim of even one percent? This here is not a bank, my sons. It is a financial branch of the Lord's own house. What would have become of you if I had not been here? You would have drunk away and spent in fornication the fruit of your labors. <laughs> After you get your money from Salt Lake City, I shall see to it that you make good use of it. You will be able to keep and cherish more wives, to prosper, and to beget more children. Now, am I right? Yes, Mr. Yes, no, no, no. You need not thank me. I am not deserving that. I am only carrying out Mormon's commandments as they are written in the book on leaves of gold. Mr. Grogan. Yeah? You are thirsty. Here, try this. Thank you.
Get down, Mr. Fowler. Something wrong, Mr. Waltrop? Yeah. And you, move! All of you, you sons of bitches! I'm sorry, Mr. Walcott. You'll have no opportunity to tell your father. He's a pompous ass. Unload the wagon. I'm afraid you aren't going to unload anything. I've got some advice for you, Jeff. Don't make any sudden move. Wait, Johnny. I'm willing to split. Fair share. One thing we do have to share. turn to defend it. All right. All right, man. Get ready.
pas. Il y a des têtes toujours choses de pas calme. Avec mes vorbes, on se coquille. Les dents. Les dents. Mettez ma chance. Oui, Claire. On me l'a pas. Come on, Mr. Waldrop. Yoanye, pour être le jeu des Kyo. Rato, Romy, mets-le ma cosse. Adică cum? Mă, mă lega și tu pe mine, a? Mă lega și îmi dungaș spatele. Pe mine, mă? Pe mine, mă? Mă, nu umbla cu de-astea. Mă, eu m-am bătut cu turcul, mă. Mă! Nici să bată, nu știe. Hira! 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 Hei, vei biura! Hei, vei biura! Mr. Doolittle! What are you doing, Mr. Doolittle? Remove yourself from my sight, you old stinking witch! Mrs. Doolittle, I hereby serve you with the nefid of it to appear before the court of this town on charges of moral cruelty, ensuing in divorce. On Monday, June the 1st, at 5. <laughs> S-a făcut de niște pălmi, ai freacă mă pe spinare. Goodbye, Pab, and good luck. No. Locul lui Bob cu masa. But Bob, you're a free man. Free? Free! You can go where you please, do what you please. I can go where I please? Then I'm always with you. Ce zice? <laughs> Bă, ăsta zice că vrea să meargă cu noi. <laughs> Când i-or vedea, nu știi, la poplaca cu el. Auzi, Ioanie. Ia, okay. ia vină tu în coci. De cu gata, merem acasă, de jucărea care jucarea mă? Pistol. Ioane, tu ce crezi? Pe aici găsim vreun copă de-a nostru, ha? De ce? Păi după cum văd eu că se îndreaptă lucrurile, mi-e teamă să nu pățim vă rușine, vă. Ha, ha, ha. 